What's going on, Clutch Squat? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dub. It's your boy Ross. And we in the Clutch, baby. Hey! Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, with another video today. You feel me? All right. We're going to check out $1 in world's cheapest country versus most expensive country. Budget challenge. Now, tell now, them why you requested this one. <laughs> I didn't request this one. I just thought it would be interesting because my boy Dub here is all about the savings. So, we would actually get to I see requested. how much $1 can get us in certain countries compared to others. If so, you were listening to us at the beginning of the uh, video or the stream, excuse me, when we got on here, that's this is what we was going back and forth about. He had mentioned this video and we start going on to the, the, the rant about who saves and who's cheap and whatnot so but <laughs> let's see what a dollar in the world's cheapest country will get you all right let's do it let's do it dollar in 12 different countries around the world from the only world's cheapest country to most expensive country to see what one dollar could still get you in 2024 starting with the most expensive country of monaco and just looking through the streets here you can honestly tell with supercars just zooming past and then are. a literal full-on port of yachts i'm not gonna lie <laughs> I'm a bit intimidated only having one dollar here. But luckily, since Monaco borders France, there's a huge bakery culture here. So since there's a lot of demand, the prices are super low. I think we found the only thing what? in Monaco that wow. costs under a dollar. Which God I mean, damn, I know they give you a whole sub. Yeah, a it was bread. a whole sub. Yeah. Damn. Okay. That's it, bro. It's you just have bread, to but some honestly, water. fresh bread for under a dollar is something that you can't That's find in bad. most countries, especially for the most expensive country in the world. But you see, with each country that we go to, the experience and offering that we can buy hey, for yo. one dollar will get cooler and more epic, all the way to the world's cheapest country. So, for example, for the next country of Singapore, even though this is one of the most expensive countries in the world, luckily there's a huge street food culture here, with having hundreds of street food markets spread all across the country. And I mean, the prices here are absolutely. What? incredible as each stall only serves like one or two items meaning they specialize in every dish they serve but i think i see a place wow. that not only is cheap but serves a local singaporean dish can i have the brown bihun bihun yeah okay this one huh? without yeah. chili Ah, uh, ooh. No one, no one Do you think chili? Chili, uh, cool Okay, why not? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Holy crap, is this a lot of food. Ladies and gentlemen, in front of us, we have the famous bihun noodles, which are fried rice noodles that are made with different types of sauces. And then on the side, if you're brave, you have chili sauce. And with a taste that can only be described as special, as this place has been making the same dish for over 20 years. Like normally when you think of a dish that costs only 90 cents, you don't think of excellent. Wow. And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, we are just getting started. Over next here in Hong Kong, we're back That's to the reality bad. of the most expensive countries in the world where food <laughs> costs a lot of money. Like, for example, all of the street food behind me here comes about four times the price of what Singapore was. Like, I want to eat everything, but it's just too expensive. However, luckily, Hong Kong has a hat. Oh my gosh, and would you just take a look at this place. Smoke is just like pouring out of everywhere because they have these massive containers of different things here. Of anything from dumplings yeah, to different food types of good. bows to <laughs> fried things. And seeing that the menu is entirely in Chinese, can I, um ask you for a recommendation this is my first time eating here so <laughs> oh, I, I have you to order oh, okay thank you so much and i gotta tell you guys this thing looks freaking unbelievable being absolutely enormous in size here and here's the best part he left before i even asked what he ordered me so oh. this could be just about anything the only thing i have to say so is when in doubt always and i mean always ask a local what to eat but what if i told you you could eat wow. food that's considered luxurious in literally every other country for cheap you see in japan since sushi is a local food you can find crazy deals and also coupled with one of the most unique ways of eating where everything from the check-in to seating to ordering is all automated you see you get this ipad here and you can look through just whatever you want with price starting at just a hundred yen like we have lean tuna special soy marinated tuna fatty albacore salmon for a hundred yen shrimp specialized fish like yellowtail i mean the list just goes on and on where after sending in the order the chef makes the sushi and then puts it on the conveyor yeah. belt and sends it down to you that's ah, tough there's our food oh my god like i know i'm in japan but this plate of sushi this is beautiful <laughs> Like, I mean, just look at the size of those things. If I lived here in Japan, I would legit eat this every day. Like, come on, 75 cents for this? That's and on top crazy. of that, unlimited green tea. Like, 
come on. This is Damn. unbelievable. This is getting just like out of control good. But next here in South Korea, we're at one of their famous street food markets, which definitely is the most packed street food market we've been to yet. And even though these vendors have relatively small areas to cook, they make everything super fresh and from scratch. Do you have a favorite one? Oh. Most of Korean people like hot chili. I'll, uh, I'll take the one that Koreans like then. I, I gotta try that one. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, me. Oh, soup what? is free. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so oh, much. Holy crap. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, when you just wow. take a look at what we got here. A Korean glizzy. Wong glizzy. <laughs> She's about to eat a Korean gliz. Glazed up. That's crazy. It's looking like a food that I've never seen. You see, Korea has possibly the most innovative street food culture of any country. As it takes foods that are in their culture, but then takes it to an Porn entirely dog. new level. Like in front of us, we have a typical fish cake, but then inside the fish cake is a sausage. And then with on top, you have ketchup, mustard, and barbecue sauce, making, I guess you would say, like a Korean hot dog. And then coming with it is... Like I well, say glizzy. <laughs> Free soup. Honestly, freaking insane. Long long dog. In short, <laughs> Korea, you're amazing. Which innovative food can be cool, but next we've gone from Asia oh, back to Europe to a Italy. very rainy Italy. Italy where you can buy homemade traditional food for cheap. Which that homemade oh, food yeah. is, of course, pizza. Where yeah. here they don't sell slices, but buy the kilo. As first, they make this massive sheet of pizza, and then the customer tells them the amount they want, cutting a very unique slice of pizza. That's tough. Not one. Not two, yeah. not three, what? but four slices. <laughs> Honestly, looks like. Hey, that's fire. I'll take that deal. That's that Especially old school Italy? pizza. Yeah. What? Yeah. For a dollar? A quarter of the freaking pizza. Oh my god. Honestly, with prices going up all around the world, one dollar for this, this might be the best deal in the world. Next, I want to show you a side yeah. of Dubai that most people don't know. You see, although Dubai is home to the largest buildings and super luxurious things to do, it's also home to some of the world's best street food that's not only delicious, but cheap. Uh, it's awesome. It's spicy or no? Uh, spicy, yeah. Okay, man. That's here content. Pretty cool. Oh, awesome. So, ladies and gentlemen, in front of us, we have the beautiful, the stunning falafel sandwich. Which, of course, the falafel is made typically, but the sandwich itself is a bit of a twist. You see, on the sandwich are not only vegetables, but a green sauce, which all together supposedly combine to make a delicious taste. It's amazing falafel, yeah. <laughs> When the locals say it's good, you know it's a good flop. However, here in Madrid, Spain, it feels like this challenge was made for this Life country. Within the Spanish culture, one of the most popular ways of eating countries. is the tapas way. And there's one restaurant that offers these tapas for just one dollar. You see, here in 100 Montaditos, they have the largest dollar menu I've ever seen. With having truly a ridiculous range of selection here from the Spanish Somebody said goop scoop earlier when they were making the falafel. You stupid. That's a, bro. They they taking a dollar menu to a whole nother level. That's crazy. You come man. in there with twenty dollars, you good. Man. Hey, anybody want some up in here, man? Yeah, come on. What, what y'all want? Tabs this on is me. A real dollar menu right here. Right. To Spanish sausage, to burgers, to egg sandwiches, to many, and I mean many more what? Spanish special. Most days there's a one euro menu and then a two euro menu. But here's the thing: on Wednesdays and Sundays, everything on the menu is one euro. So seeing that it's oh. Wednesday. That's fire, bro. That's that is tough. That's tough, bro. Everything wow. on the menu is one dollar on certain. Oh, bro. He oh, said, man. "Don't you guys have this in USA? Where? Where, nigga? I don't they know where know I can go where to where get go anything for one dollar. No it's it's that those days are done. And he ain't even talking about a dollar. You talking about seventy five cents, ninety cents for meals." Bro, Definitely not great. getting it. I think I'm gonna have to go with one of the more expensive. I said, I'm gonna be rich with with once I get that one percent from Ross. Uh, I'm gonna be eating there every day. Facts. If you know, and oh my gosh, would you just take? Oh. I'm gonna use my two percent from Ross just to go to Dubai. Wow, look at this beautiful and I mean stunning sandwich with having a base of cold pork then topped with spanish cheese and then fresh cut through bacon like that is a packed sandwich man like, i have no clue how these ingredients can cost just one euro and in terms of the taste i love you fans here in turkey we not only bites. have a dollar food but also an experience that goes with it oh uh, pistachio yes yeah. 
I'm gonna get it this time. No, nope. okay. throw that damn cone. You're a magician, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got me, man. Thank oh. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Oh, oh. Thank you so much, man. You are welcome. Everything ice cream we're gonna, absolutely ever gonna get it. Us going with the pistachio and lemon flavors here. We are starting to get to some crazy places here on this pistachio? channel. Over next here in Bangkok, this is when we take things to an entirely Not new level. You see, most people don't know Bangkok as the city that never sleeps. However, here they have something called midnight markets that literally go until five in the morning. <laughs> this place is electric, man. Like it's nearly two a.m. On a freaking random Tuesday. Like just looking down the street here, there's literally thousands of different vendors. And with most of the just up at 2 a.m. shopping for food. Just eating. Just eat. That's crazy, bro. Food coming at just one dollar. Well, I don't even know what food to try at this point. <laughs> That's a big walk. <laughs> big walk. What is it? It's ah, okay. It's it's very good. Yeah. Okay, I'll I'll take one. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. And honestly, I've never seen a dish like this before. Like, just take a look at this thing. Being a dish of fried noodles and gravy with Slime and ice you, a lot, and I mean a lot of pork. In it. And I just love that in this or restaurant, like you have the electronic music uh, blaring, and then you have this this like crazy mural here. Like, what is this guy doing with his spatula? And the kids screaming in the window. Seriously, this, this is one incredible adventure. But next, in the 115th least expensive country of Malaysia, you can not only go to a restaurant, but you have a boatload of choices there. You see, the Ooh, restaurant that we're at right now is called a mama, which serves a type of Indian Malay Chinese cuisine that typically is unique to what- Your bro is eating fried condoms. <laughs> With all the ingredients that was on the inside of it, bro. That is wild, man. Ever region your eating. And honestly, I haven't had this problem literally during this entire challenge, but I'm having a bit of difficulty of what the choose. Like, there's literally over 50 different things that we could try. But since we're in Malaysia and they somehow have their national dish for under a dollar, I think we have to go with that. And oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, we just take a look at this beautiful food. You see, the dish in front of us is one that I believe is one of the most flavorful in the world. With having each and every ingredient just spaced out on the plate and then mixing it all together, completing the dish of, of course, the nasi lama. And I gotta say, the taste alone of nasi lamak is reason alone to come here to malaysia like holy crap that's not bad but next for the world's so. cheapest country of 2024 we're in pakistan oh. where i've been here in videos before but never to the cheapest city in the country of lahore making this the most affordable place in the entire world be old video. going down the street there's dozens of different street vendors with oh. them making everything where the goop scoop yeah, they got a goop scoop what say some 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 foot do some foot dough. This is this is where you can get the goop scoop. Yeah, right. Footy, footy pizza. That's one hundred percent from scratch, and it being crazy cheap with finger? things like steaks even coming at just fifty two uh, cents. Was he missing would... a thumb? Um, who? The dude that was cooking. With them making everything one hundred percent from shit, scratch, and it being. <laughs> That's was... not funny, bro. But damn. He was missing the thumb. Got too close. And crazy cheap with things like steaks even coming at just 52 cents. <laughs> and with us going with not one dish, but six. <laughs> this is a huge breakfast, man. Oh my gosh. So we have chickpeas, we have potatoes, yeah, yeah. we His have fingers footy, and, and then the goop halva. Halva. With what is this here? What is this? A pride form of food. How much for this breakfast? It will be a $1. That's a lot of food for one dollar. Completing such an awesome journey. And it's a bit crazy, but what I'm thinking God is if you guys damn. come and do 25 more countries and if we get sick. God damn. So I said, ooh, my stomach bubbling. One dollar for all that. Bro had a buffet for one dollar. That stuff crazy, bro. Gender eating Gender good. <laughs> Yeah, bro, we we don't. I don't know anywhere where we can go get anything for a dollar, bro. Yeah, nah. 
does Jack in the Box still have those tacos that we were just talking about? Yeah, but I think they're more. They're not a dollar. They're more like with tax wow. and shit. Not a dollar, bro. You're gonna pay like 108, maybe something like that. Anybody in America, what can we get for a dollar right now? Some gum, one piece of gum. Wow, they don't even sell that like that. Yeah. Burger King Nuggets, one fifty for ten. That's still over a dollar. Oh no, you can the snacks at the snacks machine. Yeah, like you that's can get the, the small bag. You right, but that's that's not really. Yeah, right. that's about it. The snacks out of the snacks machine, you can get something for about a dollar there. Damn, somebody said sleep. Yeah, yeah. It ain't too many options, bro. That's cost wild, of living bro. has definitely increased. So. Yeah, bro. Hey, if y'all enjoyed the video, let me know something that we can get for a dollar. That, that can't be it, right? Nothing from nowhere that's like a, a meal that'll keep you going. Let us know. But new, noodles. Yeah. Get, it, get that ramen pack. <clears throat> that's it. Like, noodles is. You can't go to Dollar Tree because everything's over a dollar, technically. Which is wild. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, because everything is over a dollar. <clears throat> what about the nothing over 99 cent store? That don't work either, bro. Mostly everything and everything is over 99 cents, bro. And they all bullshit supplies yep. and stuff. But anywho, if y'all enjoyed it, y'all already know what to do. Make sure you want to like, subscribe. Let us know what else we need to be checking out. Keep on supporting us, spreading love, being love. Catch you in the next one. Peace out. Already. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside they know they can't handle half of me